Hi, Virgo. Here's your horoscope for March 2024, brought to you by planetswithin.com. I'm astrologer Joseph Anthony. Well, this time of the year is usually very busy for many of you. This is because the planets are lining up in your seventh house of others and relationships. So you find yourself uh, in a very social or very busy time of the year. And uh, this reading is for anyone who has a sun in Virgo or a rising sign in Virgo. This pertains to you. This is a general sun sign reading. And again, it has to be general because I don't have everybody's birthday and everyone's birth chart and, and uh, birthdays are different. But as we look here, uh, it's a big month for all kinds of relationships, whether it's business partners, um, you know, uh, uh, friendly encounters, uh, work relationships. These are all going to be uh, on the on the front burner here this month because the sun is going through the seventh house we also have mercury in the seventh house we have saturn in the seventh house and we have of course neptune in the seventh house and uh, around the middle of the month uh, around the 11th or 12th or so we'll have venus and mars that will also leave aquarius and go into the seventh house so there's a lot of activity building up in this seventh house and so this means wanting to be around others, wanting to take care of others or them take care of you in some way. And so you find yourself in a very busy uh, environment this, this month, okay? And then the energy gets ramped up even more the second half of the month because the sun and Mercury will be making their way into the eighth house. And this is some sort of psychological transformation that many of you will start undergoing uh, with a focus on financial uh, matters because of um, the alignments in the eighth house. And I'll get into all of that. But as we start off the month, uh, we also have a lunar eclipse this month, the first eclipse of the year right here in the second house of income and values. So I'll get into that towards the end. But for the most part, there's a little bit of optimism in the air here because of Jupiter and because of Uranus. Now, there's going to be a new moon this month, which will also highlight the seventh house and will be making a favorable alignment to Uranus and Jupiter. So what this is suggesting is looking at the world in a different way, maybe a little bit more traveling and exploration and uh, motivation. So let's take a little uh, a deeper look at what's going on here. So the first major alignment of the month is going to be on the 9th and 10th when Mercury, your ruler, leaves Pisces right there and goes into Aries, into the 8th house. And so when, Mar when Mercury is in Aries, our minds are much faster. We definitely are uh, in, a, in a quicker mindset. We're processing information at a rapid rate. And because it is the sign of the self, Aries, in the, in the 8th house, you're worried more about your financial, um, you know, your, 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 your finances, or you're worried about your own mortality because it's in the eighth house. You're worried about connections with others. You're worried that you won't be able to keep up. You're worried about, and your, pro, and your mind is going on overload, worrying about things that you shouldn't. And, you know, you're one of the signs that worries quite a bit. So with Mercury, your ruler in the, um, you know, in the, um, in the eighth house, uh, the eighth house has to do with transformation, psychological transformation. So you're going from the, you know, the the um, compassionate, emotional, sensitive sign of Pisces. Now it's in a fiery get up and go. I got to reflect upon myself. I got to do this. I got to do that kind of sign. Okay, and your your sign is also associated with perfection. So on some level, you know, you guys always feel like you have to chase perfection. And so this is going to motivate you to start to change even more. Now, the new moon in Pisces right around the same time is also going to be in the seventh house. So it'll be at 20 degrees of Pisces. And this is suggesting new people entering your life in some way. Maybe you're starting a new job. Maybe you're, you're meeting some new people uh, while you're shopping. Maybe uh, you're meeting some new people in the neighborhood, where, whatever, you know, wherever that you meet them. This is giving you an opportunity to connect with others over the next two weeks or so because a new moon will last for about two weeks. And so this is giving you a great opportunity for all of that. And so uh, go out if you get invited to some place or, um, you know, you, you got to kind of take the little baby steps to try something new because this is the time of the year where, you know, you have the opportunity to connect with more people. So I say take advantage of it. Now, Venus also enters Pisces, which again is amping up the desire to be around other people. 
Venus is about relationships and partnerships, and it's in Pisces. So once again, it's your opposite sign, and there it is in the seventh house. So lots of socializing I see this month for many of you. So, but you've got to break out of the you know the hermit mode and go out and do something different. And I highly suggest that one of the things that I advocate to a lot of my clients is that take uh, little steps and do little things that make you happy. And if socializing and being around other people or just talking for a little bit, you know, each day makes you happy, great, you know. And so you never, you never know with that new moon and uh, the Venus in Pisces, it'll definitely bring you in some new people that you, you know, even just befriend and, and be friendly with. It doesn't have to be romantic, okay, because Venus in Pisces tends to be romantic in a sense, just like Virgos. They tend to be overly romantic. But not necessarily, it doesn't have to be that way. You should start off with a nice friendship and then see where it goes from there. Okay? Uh, the sun enters Aries. Now the whole dynamic of the energy begins to completely change. Because now again, we're going into the fiery sign, the self-directed sign of Aries. And this is the time of the year where the astrological new year begins in March on the equinox where the sun is actually uh, crossing over the ecliptic and is beginning to head up higher and higher in the northern hemisphere. So, uh, and then, of course, the days become longer. But with the Mars, uh, excuse me, with the sun in Aries, which is associated with Mars, in the eighth house, it's like, I've got to take control of my life. I've got to start something new. I've got to go in a new direction. And I would highly encourage it because uh, this is going to basically ignite a little fire under you because next month there is a solar eclipse in Aries in this house. So this is setting the stage for something more important to occur in your life, whether it's in finance, whether it's you reinventing yourself, um, you taking charge of your investments, uh, you wanting to experience something new. And so this month is giving you an opportunity you know, taking the little baby steps to go in that direction. So I would say use this sun in Aries to launch yourself into a new direction or something that you've always wanted to do and, you know, see it through and see where it takes you all the way into next month where the solar eclipse will light up this eighth house. So this is starting the beginning of something that could be very uh, big and important. Now, Mars, the ruler of Aries, is going to go into Pisces as well. Now, Mars does not work that great in Pisces because Mars is the get up and go, restless, impulsive, fiery sign. And Pisces is the emotional, compassionate, not wanting to hurt anyone's feelings kind of sign. So you can see it's a little bit of a dichotomy when Mars is going through Pisces. On the plus side, it could be a great time for spirituality, being around people who are healers, teachers, religious people, spiritual people. This could also be something that you might enjoy. Virgos love anything to do with alternative medicine or um, spiritual th stuff. So I'd say I encourage you to go and do stuff that is in that realm because it makes you feel good. You know that there's more to life than just modern medicine and, you know, healing with uh, drugs. So this could be a great time, again, for socializing, interacting and meeting new people, um, you know, such as, um, like I said, spiritual leaders or, or, or healers, natural healers, doctors, even if you're in the medical profession, doctors, nurses, all of that stuff falls under this umbrella. So this could be a very important time for many of you in that area. So again, take advantage of the opportunity to meet new people. Now, the big news is also this month we have a lunar eclipse in um, Libra. It's going to be at five degrees of Libra. So wherever that is in your actual birth chart, that's the area that gets lit up. So a lunar eclipse in the second house, it's going to be in here in the second house, opposing the eighth house, has a lot to do with a realization about something or someone. And because it's in Libra, the sign of relationships, this is a great time to let go of the past. So I would meditate on, you know, uh, you know th that you had this experience in the past that's no longer a part of you and you need to move on from it. 
And that's a great time to do it under lunar eclipses. Now, this will begin to change your relationships in some way, whether it's your relationship on a personal level, whether it's a business relationship, what's a financial relationship, because both these houses represent finances. So we could see some changes to the financial markets, or maybe you're making a, a large investment, or maybe you're doing something with money matters this month around this lunar eclipse. Whatever it is, it's a realization, a conclusion, uh, you know, something that is being to, brought to the forefront that you need to pay attention to. So this is what is, is suggested here. And so over the course of the next six months or so, maybe even up to a year, because eclipses can take a longer time to uh, sort of evolve and reveal themselves, you'll begin to see the changes in your relationships, the changes in your, the meaning of life, that your, your, your sense of value will all begin to change. And so it may have a lot to do with all these new people that you're meeting. One of them or two of them may stand out and there may be new friendships developed and then you're letting go of some of the old friendships and old ways of doing things, you see? So anyway, there you have it. It's a general overview. Do the best you can. Always meditate on who you really are, which is a spiritual being in a physical suit, having a human experience and make the best of it and realize that we're all just having experiences here. All right. Have a great month, Virgo, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.